Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to create a backup repository on an NFS share in the Kivo Backup and Replication 10.5. Before you begin, you need to make sure that the folder where you would like to create the backup repository exists on the share. The share can be accessed from the machine on which the assigned transporter is installed and the credentials you are using have read and write permissions. Once all of these requirements are met, navigate to Settings and select the Repositories tab. Click Add Backup Repository and select Create New Backup Repository to open the wizard. In the Type tab of the wizard, choose NFS Share and click Next. In the Name and Location tab, type the repository's name and choose the assigned transporter from the drop-down menu. Then specify the path to share. Select and configure advanced mount options if needed. Then press Next to go to the Options tab. Here you can configure the backup process. You can also change the compression level in the data size reduction settings. Leave the Store Backups in Separate Files option enabled to store data on every machine in separate backup files. Note that disabling this feature changes your repository from full with incremental used by default to incremental only. To allow Nakivo Backup and Replication to automatically detect and correct errors in the backup infrastructure, leave the Enable Automatic Repository Self-Healing box checked in Reliability and Maintenance Settings. Disable the option to run self-healing manually, if necessary. Alternatively, you can configure and run repository self-healing on schedule. Select Run Full Data Verification on Schedule to compare all data blocks and backups against data blocks on source VMs. You can also enable the Enforce Explicit File System Sync option, which is considered a more reliable way to create backups. Finally, you can choose whether to detach this repository on schedule, which can be necessary for advanced data protection and long-term storage configuration. Once done, click Finish and wait for Nakivo Backup and Replication to create the NFS repository. And that concludes our how-to video. Visit the Nakivo Resource Library for more how-tos and other useful resources.